they were very accepting of our culture and I learned to be very accepting of their culture. On my trip to Tanzania, I learned different communities' ways of life, how people value different things throughout the day, how people were proud of having so little. There's um, always a need and really that the, the human spirit in people, there's not too much of a difference. But, um, we all can kind of connect on some basic level. Global Partners has impacted my life um, by slowing me down and really deeply understanding the value of every single human being as well as the environment that we live in. I have gained amazing relationships and friendships both with people here on the Global Partners team, with community members here that have gone along on the trips. We've become great friends within that week that we're together. The success of the Global Partners project really relies on the core values of the project, which include sustainability, relationships, volunteerism, and stewardship. For sustainability in the community, we are focused on the health, but there's also a, a larger idea of education and hygiene and teaching uh, healthy measures. And for long-term sustainability, it's a big scope of focus, and I think we start in a small community and gradually it will flourish and spread out. And so I think doing small scale work and going very deep in terms of um, what we're teaching them and what they're learning will um, definitely have a, a lasting impact. During this most recent trip, we participated in a suicide awareness walk where we walked about 27 to 33 miles all the way from Kyle to Wambly on the reservation. And throughout, you could walk as far as you wanted and vehicles would come and pick you up and they would take you to other checkpoints and things like that. And during the walk, we met up Dr. Dolan, Lisa, another volunteer, and myself met a young boy by the name of Ethan. And he was probably about 12. And throughout the walk, he was very talkative and he liked to explain his culture to us. And we took him in the car with us because he asked if he could ride along. And we asked him if he could sing us any of his Native American or his cultural songs. And throughout the entire ride, he would choose different songs that meant different things. Some were funny, some were more serious, and he would sing them for us. And it was actually really beautiful, and it was interesting to see how willing he was to share his culture with us. Through a volunteer at Global Partners, I gained so much more than I feel that I, I gained. I gained an understanding of the Lakota culture and of the people on, on Pine Ridge. But more, I think I gained an understanding of working with our own students uh, here from the La Crosse School District and to watch them grow and appreciate and interact with the students in Pine Ridge. And that, that piece was really, really important to me that I was able to facilitate that connection of teenager to teenager La Crosse to Pine Ridge. I think that we are very resourceful, being that we need to be sustainable and being that we need to do fundraising for all of our projects. Uh, I think that we are very resourceful in finding community partners here that we can get donations from, whether they be money or in-kind donations. Um, we've, I've gone out personally and done a lot of interviews with Rotary Clubs that have then uh, donated some things to us. People are resources. We certainly count on the people here in our community, whether we use them for translating services or whether we use them for going along on the trips or we consult with them on particular projects we're going to do while we're in Nicaragua. I believe that all the resources that we get and the donations we get are used very, very cautiously and very wisely. I think if you go with an open mind, instead of thinking, oh, I'm better than you or you or you, um, the benefits at the end of your trip are, are far going to outweigh 
um, any negative things. And I, I told a lot of people that, both in Tanzania and our group when we got home, I said that trip did far more for me than I did for anybody in Tanzania or anybody I was with.